Hey everybody, today Rado runs through the Box Throne Modular Shelving System, which is a whole new style of shelf made especially for board games, where each one of your games gets its own throne, hence it is a box throne. And I've got the standard set here. It looks like it came in three different boxes. I haven't opened any of these yet. I don't know what awaits me, but I'm going to put this thing together for you right now so you can get an idea of the entire box thrown experience from opening to stacking. So uh, let's get going. Now, of course, I'm not going to make you painfully watch however long this takes me to put together. So we're just going to go ahead and start uh, fast forwarding right now. Do, 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 do. Got some stickers and the rules. All right, <laughs> the instructions. Uh, to our Kickstarter backers and early supporters, thank you from the deepest panel of our box shaped hearts. Bringing the box throne to life is your legacy. Oh, mine. All right, uh, yeah. so. Okay, let's continue. Do, 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 that was crazy easy. I was expecting something more along the lines of a Ikea bit of furniture to put together, but all the holes are pre-threaded. The screws of the Phillips head screwdriver just go straight in and boom. Here's my first shelf done. And now I believe I've got three more to put together. So let's just go on ahead and get that taken care of. All right, let's back to the fast forwarding. Jen walked by and saw me uh, manually. I said, what the? Don't take this. So she went out and grabbed this for me. So this should make the last few screws a bit quicker. Except I just tossed the screw aside. Oh dear. Ah. Oh, okie dokie. Well, this is unexpected. Uh, this is a review copy they sent out to me and I would have assumed they would have had the tops and bottoms for um, four units. <gasps> Ah, oh, they do. Oh, shoot. I'm already failing at this because, of course, dummy. All right. So I have made three individual ones, but I wasn't supposed to do it that way. No, I was not. All right. Now we're going to have to unscrew some stuff. <laughs> Always follow the instructions. Wouldn't be a Rotto runs through without one or two goofs along the way, right? Right. I was supposed to leave those alone. Yeah. Ah! Dumb, dumb, dumb. All right. So that meant, yes, this, because that's, because this wasn't supposed to have a bottom. These were supposed to go onto the top of this. Ah, dummy, dummy, dummy. Let's try again. Do, 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 Phew, okay. And now I just gotta figure out where to put these things. So uh, we'll check in once I've got them up with some games in. Be right back. Whew, okay folks. Got it set up and I think it looks pretty good. So I've got just shy of 50 games here and I've used I think 38 of the 48 shelves that come with it. And as you can see I was pretty generous with space to uh, give the games room to breathe. I could probably easily think squeeze out maybe 60 plus games in here because you can see if I wanted to pack them tighter I've got a bunch more shelves that came with this this is the box king model if I recall and uh, yeah it looks great and for folks who would prefer to keep their games horizontal instead of vertical like a regular bookshelf so that you know contents doesn't end up shifting around and all of that it's got you covered every game 
gets its own little devoted throne and uh, they're easy to pull out and slip right back when you're done and no more having the gigantic stack of, I don't know, if you're like me, I've had stacks of upwards of 10 games all together and when you want to get that one at the bottom, it's a real pain, never mind the fact that the boxes start to crush over time. Here, everything lovingly gets its own little slot that you handcrafted for it by putting all these modular shelves in yourself. Now, about these shelves, one thing I should point out is they're really made for big boxes. So you can see I just threw a couple of little boxes up on the top because of course they're just gonna fall right through these shelves. Now there are some accessories you can get when you pick these up. Uh, some acrylic uh, shelves so that you could have small boxes here or miniatures or whatever you might want. Uh, you can get packages of those. You can also get these cool little uh, pull-out drawers. So there's like a drawer you could pull out with stuff inside it. And then if you happen to be the type of player who has a lot of mats for your games, there's like these little side things. So you can hang them kind of like towels off the side, uh, which is pretty cool as well because those mats never actually fit in the original box. But otherwise, I think this gives you a pretty good idea of what the final product is all about. It's very, very cool. The It does come with brackets, so you can uh, affix it to the wall if you want. Uh, I think it's relatively stable, um, but if, if you're worried, because I don't know, you've got kids in the house or something like that, you can uh, uh, very securely stick it without any particular worries there. But otherwise, folks, yeah, it looks great. It's a wonderful showcase for the games that you probably love as much as I do, and uh, that's Box Room. So, one more thing I should mention uh, before I go. When the makers of this contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a rundown of it, I said, sure, that's fine. And they said, well, tell you what, we'll set up a special purchase code so that viewers of the show can get 5% off if they uh, make a purchase of over 200 bucks worth of uh, box roamed, and uh, and then I would get 5% of the you know, a little slice of the pie. And I said, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Tell you what, take my 5% and give it to the viewers. So, I'm getting nothing off it, but if when you check out, if you're interested in this, if you use the, what was the code? The code, I believe it was Rotto thanks you, because I think when they set it up, they assumed you were going to be giving me 5% of the sale. So I thank you for using my code. That's no longer applicable because you're getting my 5%. And uh, so maybe you should be thanking me. But regardless, the code, it's right there on screen. It's down in the show note. Rotto thanks you and get 10% off purchases of over $200, uh, if I recall correctly. And uh, yeah. So see the show notes for details, just in case I'm forgetting, because I've already made one goof in this run through. I don't want to make a second one when we're talking finances. But yeah, that's it, folks. The Dice Throne. And I'm going to say thanks so much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye bye.